guys, so we just got home probably like 10 minutes ago. I am making lunch right now. Um, and, okay, let me not do you guys my chest. Pretty much just making lunch. I'll know this is for nap. Before, I have to start cleaning. Because yesterday, unfortunately, um, because yesterday, I have to show you guys this. Yesterday, unfortunately, I was supposed to clean. I had planned to clean, but I couldn't with Nova being. Let me move you guys because this, this is not a very flattering angle. I was supposed to clean yesterday, but I didn't because Nova just wasn't feeling that great until like 5 or 6 o'clock last night. She started feeling a little bit better, but I don't know. She got one more dose of medicine and then she was fine throughout the night, but. I was just so exhausted. I felt like I was um, back in the days when Nova was, you know, still nursing at night and not sleeping through the night. That's what it felt like, but worse um, in the sense that she's like more aware, obviously, because she's older and she was sick. So I, that's like the first time she's ever had like been sick like that. But anyway, she's completely fine now, so I'm really happy about that. I wanted to show you guys this snack because it's like the best thing ever. So I got these mild green mojo, mojo or mojo, multi-grain tortilla chips. They say they have chia, quinoa, millet, am, amaranth, and flax. I think that's how you pronounce that. They're by the brand Late Jul July Snacks. I got them at a store called um, Stop and Shop, um, but they're gluten-free organic and I love eating them with this caramelized onion hummus dip um, sometimes if I'm like not super hungry for lunch and I know maybe we'll just have an early dinner that day because I'm not super hungry um, so I can eat while Nova eats I'll pull out a couple of these chips and then get some hummus and it's really 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 good um, I mean as you can see my whole bag is gone so I really like this, but I saved the bag so you guys can see. This is so good. And I really love like grilled onions and grilled bell peppers, i.e. grilled onions and grilled pe bell peppers. I like put it on everything pretty much, so it's super good. But I wanted to share that with you guys because, I don't know, if you really like onions and like flavorful chips, I feel like you should try these and they're a healthier option to like your standard tortilla chips, so yeah. get to make my first like, um, what are they called? I'm like making my first run. And yes, I like my, oh my gosh, my hair is so crazy right now. Let's fix that. Um, I'm making my first run of like my shirt. So if I mess up on it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm trying to figure out different ways to like do fabric on top of fabric. Um, some of them I might like hand paint because I'm pretty good at doing that um, and sometimes I like the way that looks so I'm trying out different ways for probably two outfits and then I'll solidify it and then go forth with that just so during the season it's easier if I'm doing them like, for like other people I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not having to like play around with too much stuff but yeah so, so I'm trying to figure out I, I know what sewing machine I want I'm just not sure if it's like too much sewing machine, if that makes sense, because there's so many features and so many different things. Like, should I just get a standard one? And then, like, if I need detail work, like, get one that has like a little bit of stuff, but not like everything, because that's kind of just, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> if, the, if it has just like too many components to it. Does that make sense? You know, when you like, buy something and it has so many features that you know you're never going to use but you want to use like two specific ones that's how that sewing machine is so I'm not sure yet about that one um but I know that there's stuff that I can do without that one so that's what I'm trying to um I guess like hone in on now um but yeah I'm about to start making my first shirt so I'm excited about it um I'm about to eat my lunch I'm about to have a veggie patty and some grilled onions on some bread, which I haven't had bread in 
days um, but I get like super light bread that's like 45 calories a slice super low fat and um, I think it's two slices is like six grams of protein something like that and I'm gonna have some normal tortilla chips with some hummus with it because I was really great craving a like cheeseburger and french fries so this is like my better version of it but yeah watch a YouTube video or two um, do a little bit more like wedding searching um, and probably turn on this diffuser with a little bit of I don't know if this is a very flattering angle but turn my, my diffuser with a little bit of a uh, lavender to calm me and help me relax and eat my lunch and enjoy it before Nova wakes up and is ready for her lunch so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit uh, two minutes after I got off the uh, the um camera with you guys Nova woke up from her nap and excuse me I'm chewing super bubble bubble gum because I'm craving something really sweet but I'm trying not to go get it so I'm hoping this is gonna help me um that is mm -hmm. but it's just her mommy but I just finished responding to some emails that I had and um finished eating it was delicious my food was delicious I was really happy about my lunch say hi hi <laughs> you look so pretty mommy um and I finished responding to some emails about wedding stuff and um like just some clarification and more pictures etc 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 hi you say hi you tell them you took a nap for 1.5 seconds yeah for Mom. real though. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are mommies. And so, when I get up, but I knew what she was doing the whole time. I just didn't know to what extent because um, I was watching her, but this is what my house looks like now. So, I'm kind of happy I didn't clean because that's what we're working with now. Nova, please turn back on the TV. Thank you. She's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So... Where are you? Oh, plate. Oh, napkins. Oh, diaper wipes. Say, Nova. Oh gosh, crumbs on the sofa too. My goodness, we have lots of stuff going on. What were you doing, Mommy? You were playing? Were you playing? Are you trying to turn back on the TV? Uh-oh. Can you help here? It's her. Here, can you please turn it back on? Thank you. Are you dancing? Oh, okay, Nova. You gonna vlog? Yeah. Okay. Okay, vlog yourself cleaning. Let me see you clean. Go, Nova, go. Go, Nova, go. Clean, Nova, clean. Let me see you clean, girl. Clean it up, no. Clean it up, no. All right. <laughs> okay, put those movies away. Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Go put them away. Uh, it's time for a new piece of bubble gum because you know how this bubble gum uh, dies off real quick. Uh-uh. Uh put the movies away. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. Oh, Mama. Oh, Nova. Oh. You see Mama's makeup? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
there you go. <laughs> so hi everyone and welcome back. Like we've been saying for probably the past 34 seconds now. It is day, what day is it? I know it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, August 2nd. I think it's day like five of camp or something like that. But as you can see, Nova's feeling better. Are you feeling better, mommy? You have something on your sh on your chest. Are you feeling better? Is Nova feeling better? Yeah, mama. yeah, mama's chest. Is Nova feeling better? Yes. Say I'm feeling better. Tell him. Say, say, say I'm feeling better. You wanted to give her stuff that I know that she likes, and that's good for her, right? That's yeah. healthy for Nova. Yeah. Say yes, mommy. Okay. So mommy needs that one. And I'm just sitting here finishing up my makeup before we go today. And then we're going to go see Daddy. What does Daddy do, Nova? Football. 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 <laughs> so we're going to watch Daddy play football. Right? <laughs> right? Sit down. <laughs> Sit all the way down. Football. Football. Sit down and eat so we can go bye-bye and see Daddy. Football. And see our friends. Good. Our friends. Oh, yeah. These days I'm like really into bronzer and I really, I think I've showed you guys this before, but the NARS, what is this called? The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer is like the best thing ever and a lot of times I just use that to like spot conceal on my face, powder my face a little bit and like that's my whole base because I really, I really like using concealers. I don't know, um, sometimes more than foundation just because they have more coverage and you can use less in my opinion, so, um, Especially on days where it's hot. Dang it, I left my, um, that's where this brush is. Um, I left my setting spray upstairs. It's okay, I already did my eyebrows. What do I have to do? My mascara. And I've been testing out this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's that new one that's supposed to be a dupe for like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I like it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I like it more with the lash primer on top or or underneath or if I like it by itself more um, But to me, it's not better at the moment at least it's not better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I am done with my makeup. I gotta go sit my face. So mom has to spray her face. You know how mommy sprays her face? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, mom's face. Mom okay. sprays it. Yeah, the spray. Noah's gonna eat a little bit more food of her apples and strawberries. I know she's probably gonna be eating little meals uh -oh. this day. Then we're gonna go see Daddy play football. Uh oh, yeah, you gotta pick it up and put it back in. It's mommy's special ring. Uh. Okay, do you want mom to help you get it? Uh. Okay. Let's show them. Say, oh, oh, TD. <laughs> this is like that little car mount thing that I got. It kind of works, but kind of not. I don't know. I have to like play around with it more. But I just wanted to give you guys an outfit of the day of what we're wearing today to camp. Say to camp. Okay. Yeah. So I'm wearing this like boyfriend style t-shirt from Boohoo, which I love. Um, I've never, I don't order that much off of Boohoo, but this is one of those things I feel like I need to order another one of in um, black because I really do like it. It is oversized and sometimes I tie it up, sometimes I leave it down. Today I just tied it up and then I'm wearing these jeans, which are the, you guys are going to laugh at me probably. They're good American jeans. I am testing them out to see if they're actually worth it or not. And they have like a little bit of, I don't know, detailing at the bottom. Are those my other sunglasses? Okay, perfect. Um, and then I'm just wearing them. I like how like that detail is. I think that looks really pretty with my YSL slides, which I do love, but they do get like chipped up at the front. So FYI. Yeah, we're not going in that thing though, okay? And then I just have these little sunglasses. His Darian, not Darian, um, Nova like stretched out my key Australia ones that I normally wear they're like black I just got these ones I think these are like dupes for I think they're Celine's I don't know I think that's what they're technically dupes for but I got them from Nordstrom they were like $12 but I really like them I think that they're cute and then I just wanted to slick my hair today into a low ponytail and then I'm wearing these really thin gold earrings from Nordstrom I think they're like $8 because um, I've been into hoops recently. <laughs> I'm like getting like my mom. 
So yeah, just something super simple, super casual. I was gonna wear a backpack, but I'm probably just gonna keep my never full just because I have, say excuse me, like so much crap in it. But it's not even crap, it's actually stuff that I like we need um, <laughs> at camp to make sure that we have a smooth, as smooth of a camp as possible, huh? Nova snacks, a diaper that we bring with us so I don't have to bring our whole diaper bag, water bottles, that kind of stuff, even though they have that at camp. Let's do your outfit of the day, Nova. Lilac colored bow and my Converse shoes and my ruffle socks. All right, super cute, Nova. Poppin? Poppin. 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 All right. So let's go see Daddy. Ready to go see Daddy? Football. 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 <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Oh, but also let's talk about these jeans really quick. I like the way that they fit. I'm not sure about these pockets because they make my butt look a little bit wider than they actually are. Or it actually is. They actually are. Oh, geez. I must have not got that much sleep last night. Um. Yeah, but I like them. I like the fit. They're very like stretchy, which is nice. Um, but yeah, are they like super, super, super amazing? I don't know that yet, but they do fit very nice yeah. to be able to fit my butt and my waist and without having like, like I don't have like a huge gap in the back or anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I do like that, but I am losing more weight. So um, I'll see how that works out you know sizing wise but yep but let's go to practice no so we're not super late say okay say bye-bye bye-bye I come because early today because practice was cut short it's 12 49 and normally it would be like ending right now um there was rain so anytime there's like rain or lightning and that kind of stuff they move the guys in and um practice ends early so that's what happened but I wanted to come on here and talk about something because I just saw this on Instagram and it kind of um, struck a nerve in some sense I guess with me um, I saw something I follow a page it's called let me get this like stable so I'm not like wiggling everywhere okay I follow excuse me if I look like crazy too I um, anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I follow a page, it's called Wags Redefined. And it's just like a positive page where they show real life things that um, Wags are doing in all sports and that they're doing like in the charity work that they're doing and just like real, real stuff. Kind of like what I want to do with, that I'm showing with my life. They show many different wags and they have like a magazine they have a couple of like um clothing items now and it's just a really positive place um where wags are able to come together and just talk about common things you know that they might be going through and it's just it's, it's a really positive page um and i i love it and but today i saw an article that was written by um a fellow wag and she was saying you know she was talking about training camp that's going on right now that Darian is in right now and that her husband is in. Um, and someone commented, and she was a military wife, and she, um, the gist of her whole spiel was that, you know, my struggle is worse than yours um, because her husband is in the military. He's gone for 12 to 18 months. She doesn't know, um, you know, being in the military, you don't know if, if they're gonna come home safely. So, you know, you pray that they come home safely. And um, that if it's really that much of a struggle because I believe this um, woman has two kids, a couple dogs, a cat, and, um, you know, a husband. So she has a lot going on. And she said, you know, if it's that much of a struggle, just get um, a nanny for, I'm sure it's not expensive is what she said to get a nanny for a couple weeks um, if you really need help, but she doesn't feel pity for us. I just wanna make the comment because I feel like this is something, the reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel and talk with people about my life was 
to share share my life with people and also help women feel empowered and I absolutely despise when people compare their situation to someone else's and try to minimize whatever someone else is going through to what they're going through. I am not saying in any way, shape, or form that her husband being in the military is, you know, the same as our husbands being in the NFL. I understand that. But what I'm saying is for you to go out of your way, if, if you want to share your struggle, you can share your struggle. But I don't think it's respectful and I don't think as a woman you should ever make another woman's situation seem like it's not as bad as yours, as bad as what you're going through. So she should just relax because it's not that bad and you can help, you can pay for it and that kind of stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, and it's just one of those, this is one of those like times where we're not saying that, you know, training camp is just like the worst thing ever, but it's our struggle right now. It's, it's my struggle. It's multiple women's out there struggle, just like some people are struggling you know day to day with their job to to be able to pay their bills just like some people are struggling with their relationships excuse me some people are struggling with their relationships maybe with their significant other some people are struggling to find a house to live in some people like everyone's struggle is different my struggle is different than a military wife's struggle is different than a stay at home another stay at home wife's struggle as women we need to start treating other women with respect and encouraging other women and uplifting other women and wanting them to succeed. There's no, it's not like there's not enough, you know, enough to be, to go around in the world. There's enough, there's absolutely enough. But the problem is when you, when you treat people that way, if you have a daughter, you have a niece, you have a cousin who looks up to you, they see that that's how they're going to treat the women of their generation. And that's where my problem comes in. I am going to treat women and human beings the way I want to see my daughter when she grows up treat women and other human beings. I do not want my daughter to be a woman who puts down another woman, who doesn't empower other women, lift other women. No, that's not, that's not okay. So my thing in coming on here was just, I, I saw something actually on Instagram too, which was like the absolute perfect timing. So I'll, pro I'll just insert it in right here, but it was just talking about how pretty much what I just said. There, everyone has a special reason why they're on this earth and so don't take away someone else's reason to try to put up your reason as as better or more important or anything like that because everyone is going through their own struggle so embrace it get through it um have you know a positive out outlook on it and don't try to throw other people under the bus really and say like oh yours is not you don't do that you just gosh it just it hurt me when i read that it's like why would you I understand what you're saying, but why would you, uh, uh, really it was an attack to me on this, on the, the wag, because it's like she wasn't trying to, you know, say that her struggle was just the, you know, the craziest thing ever, but she just was sharing her, her life story, just like the military wife could have shared her story, but instead it was in a negative way and not shared in a positive way as an empowerment uh, in empowering women and uplifting women it was a negative um so i just want to challenge the women out there watching this um video to just really make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who uplift you and who in, empower you to be the best you that you can possibly be, the people who challenge you to keep going and don't, like when I talk about, you know, my clothing line and my goals, I don't like to tell myself like, well, I want to do this. I try to make sure that I say, this is what I'm going to do. 
you know, because you, you need to speak things into existence. So make sure that you're surrounding yourselves with people who not necessarily have the same ideals as you because to me, you can have so many different types of friends, but as long as they're really there for you and there to uplift you and empower you and you're there for them the same way and you want their businesses to succeed, you want um, you know, their lives to be great and you want the best for them and they want the best for you, those are the type of people that you should associate yourself with because at the end of the day, like I said, if you have a daughter, you have a niece, you have a cousin who looks up to you that is a woman and she sees you empowering other women like that, she's going to be like that for the women of her generation and not continue the trend of women just being so catty and so rude to each other for no reason, for absolutely no reason. So that's just my message, I guess, for today. And it's really important for our future generations of women. And especially since I have a daughter, it's just something that I like watching her interact with other girls. I like watching her interact with other little boys to just see what type of person am I making Nova into. Of course, she's still going to have her own little things about her that are her. But what do I need to, you know, continue to instill in her? What do I, you know, what do I feel like? Okay, she has that, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. You know, there's certain things that I still, you know, I still need to keep doing as a parent, but I want my daughter to be one of those strong, a strong woman in, in her generation um, and a, an uplifting person and just a positive person and an encouraging person. And I don't, I want to make sure that I, I, help facilitate that so that starts with me being whatever I, I want her to see is what I should be doing too so um yeah I just wanted to to say that really quickly <laughs> it probably wasn't that quick but I just feel like it, it was really important for me to to say that just don't minimize anyone else's struggle everyone is going through something um and you never know sometimes what that might be um but don't ever put anybody else down to make your whatever you're going through seem like it's better than others because it's not every it's it's all the same it's all the same when it comes down to it it's all the same um and that might seem like wow you think so i honestly do at the core of it it's all the same so that's it <laughs> for right now i gotta go do some dishes and nova's taking her nap and we gotta um get Nova ready to go to school soon so we gotta get some back to school stuff and um, um, go to the school and drop off a check and do all that fun mommy stuff that I'm excited to do but it's sad because that means she's getting older but it's all right it's all right she has to get out there and see the world and probably get sick for the first month of preschool but that is fine <laughs> um, but yeah I just wanted to come on here and say that to you guys so I just I challenge you to be uh, a woman of strength um, within yourself, within your family, and with women, other women around you. So that's it. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs>